Hey, what's going on you guys? Welcome to Draw 2. My name is Ramney and I'm finally back for another episode of... I don't remember what it's called. Hey, what's going on you guys? Welcome to Draw 2. My name is Ramney and yes, I am finally back for another episode of How to Draw, the show where you follow along as I draw your favorite pop culture characters. I'm not quite sure where I'm going to put this camera for this brand new office setup that I have. Uh, I'm going to put it here for now because I don't have my wall painted the way that I want it yet. And I don't know if I'm going to paint it anytime soon. And yes, do expect me to do some rebranding on this channel to make it a lot better for you guys. Today we're going to be drawing Soldier 76 from Overwatch. He was the third most popular character from the fan poll that I had in the Google Plus community a while back. And of course, if you're going to draw Reaper, you have to draw Soldier 76 as well because their histories are intertwined with each other. So having said all of that, what you need for this drawing is a pencil, an eraser, a pen, and any type of white paper. Remember that if you find that this video is going way too fast, you have the ability to pause it so you can catch up on your drawings. We all draw at different speeds, so find a pace that works for you and stick right to it. Having said all of that, you guys, let's get right to the drawing. We're going to start off by drawing a circle in the middle of your page. Just like that. That's going to be part of the head. And he's going to be looking in this direction right here. So I'm going to draw a chin right around here. And bring that back just like that. I'm going to draw a line down, and that's going to be the neck. And I'm going to draw the shoulder. It's going to be an angled line and then changes direction right here and goes out like this. And right here, same thing. It's going to be much shorter. Uh, this line, I mean, it's going to be much shorter than this line right here. Okay, so that's the base of it. Let's start with the uh, features of his face. First thing we're going to draw is, well, we're going to draw a line that goes down the middle of his face, just like this. And then, right around here, I'm going to draw a line like this. And below that, I'm going to draw a small line. A line going down, and a line going down right there. So these are going to be part of his goggles. I'm going to bring this up. Right around here, I'm going to turn it around, just like that. So right now, it looks like he's got a mask on, and it looks like, kind of like a ninja. Here I'm going to draw a curved line because it does stick outward like that. From here I'm going to draw a line going down and then a line going inwards. So it changes direction slightly and goes down to the chin. Okay, and then right here I'm going to draw a line going outward. And same thing here, a line going out, same direction change direction and then meet the line at the bottom right here okay from here I'm going to draw another line going out and line going up just like that and then it runs on top of this line that we previously draw drew there you go so that's the rim of his goggles right there and then it just goes out Okay, and then from here, we're going to draw another line, like this, like that, and then we're going to extend this, and then extend this line, and then make it go higher up, just like that. And then from here, this corner, we're going to make the earpiece, and it goes up to the side of the head, and then from here, it goes up to the side of the head. I'm going to leave it like that for now. Then I'm going to start over here and I'm going to create the earpiece itself. So, curved line and it goes out like this and it goes down again. About the size of an ear and it goes in like that. Okay, so imagine it would close up like this. So it makes like a an ear shape. And then from here I'm going to create a disc and by doing that we're just I'm just going to uh, draw a curved line like this oh, sorry I'm kind of 
running out of words to say. And then another small one inside like that. Okay, from here, I'm gonna draw a line like this and then a line going out towards the earpiece and then the line going down and then back out. And then this one is a line going down. From here, we're going to continue with a line going the same direction as this line. And then it goes down right here and then it goes out. And you know what, I'm gonna leave it like that for now. I'm going to go back here and I'm going to draw a tube and that's going to be the mouthpiece that's attached to his earpiece. Sorry, I think I may have drawn this one a little too big. Let's draw that a little smaller. So it curves like this and then extends right around here. I'm going to draw a little curve just like that here and then draw the actual tube and it just goes underneath the earpiece. Okay, I'm gonna draw two rings, one here and the second one like that. And then the mouthpiece goes down, extends down like this. Just like that. And then now we have a place where we can end this and we can draw a line like that. And that is the part of the mouthpiece. I'm gonna erase some of my guidelines here, just lightly. And that's what it's supposed to look like. Right here, I'm just gonna close that off. There you go. All right. Now, right here, I'm going to draw a line going out. And this is kind of the the nose part of his mask. And, just, and it's just a line like this, and it just goes in like that. Okay. And here, he's got that Iron Man sort of frown. So let's draw a little frown like this. And then a line going like this, and then meets right there. But it's not really a frown. And I'm going to draw a line going in like this. And we're going to do it again like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to shade that in. Okay. And then let's draw the chin part. And the chin part is just a curve like this. And it goes straight like that. There you go. And then from here, we're going to complete a chin just like this. On this side, we're going to start over here. We're going to draw a small angle like this, and then and then it goes in, much like that. And then from here, we're going to draw a line going down, and then towards the chin. I'm going to erase some of my guidelines now. Here I've drawn a second curve. Okay, I'm going to draw two um, just lines right there. Okay, and then I'm going to draw the laser like thing he's got in his um, uh, visor. That's his eyepiece. So I'm going to draw, first thing I'm going to draw just a little bit of reflection, I guess you could call it, or a, a shine in the translucent visor. And then I'm going to draw two lines going across like this. I'm going to draw it faintly first. And I want it to end right here. I hope you guys don't hear my neighbors upstairs there. They walk pretty loudly. And they have three dogs. Okay. There you go. Here I'm going to draw a trapezoid. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Now look at the distance from here to here and we're going to try to 
recreate the same distance. But of course, this side is going to be angled. Um, so this side looks like it's closer to here, but that's because this side of the face is more at an angle than this side of the face is. Right here, I'm going to draw just a little, a um, little shape, just like this, just beneath the visor. Right here, I'm going to draw a little. That's like a, a sheen, a shine. Okay, now let's draw the top of the head. Um, before I do that, I'm going to draw this scar, and his scar goes right along his forehead in this direction, just like that. Okay, now I'm going to find the forehead line, the hairline I mean, and to do that I'm just going to start right here, I'm going to draw a little curve for the, uh, um, oh, I don't know my body parts anymore, I'm just going to draw a little curve here, and I'm going to draw a line going up, like that, and then I'm going to draw a faint line that goes across, and right here, I'm going to draw a line going up, meeting that faint line, so that's the hairline, and let's draw the rest of his hair. The rest of his hair starts off right here, goes out like this, and then kind of goes up like that. And then makes a little curve, like a wave right here. This, this is anime hair. And it goes out again. Now you see right around here makes an, it makes a, um, it makes a point right there. Okay, and then here it goes out like this and draw a third of a triangle in anyway. just like that. And here, another triangle. And then, finally, the last triangle, like that. Okay. Now here, we're going to draw a triangle going out to the opposite way. Okay, clean that up a bit. Erase the inside circle, or guidelines that you made. Now let's draw the inside hair. We're going to start right here at this point, and we're going to draw a line that goes towards the scar and then moves its way back out like this. Okay, and then go straight down. Okay, we're going to draw a, a curved line that goes out like this and then goes back in like that. And again, we're going to do the same thing, slightly longer, and then it goes up. And then we're going to find a point right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw a line that goes up and then meets that line or meets this point right here. And then this point is going to go here. And we're going to draw another one from here that goes up to this point right here. Here we're going to draw a line that goes up just like that. And then here we're going to continue it going up like that. Okay. Now here, we're going to extend it going out like this, and then we're going to draw a line that goes up to that middle point right there. And let's erase the guidelines. There you go. And then let's draw some wrinkles. So here, we're going to draw one wrinkle, forehead wrinkle, like that. Next one, it's going to go up right here, and just just like that. And then we're going to draw a little line that goes along with the scar. The next one, we're going to start over here. We're going to draw a line out, and it's going to go along with the scar right there. I'm going to draw a little line right here, and then two little wrinkles right there. Let's make it three. And then, oh, actually, no, not that line. One more here, and then that's it. So we've pretty much got the face down. Now let's draw the rest of his costume. Um, we're gonna start off right here, and we're just going to draw a line that goes down for his neck. Right around here, this little uh, corner point right here, we're going to draw a line that goes out, and then a line that goes towards the chin. And then, continues outward like this, and then it goes from this point, we're going to draw a line going down. 
and that's going to be his collar. And so let's draw his collar on this side too. And then I'm going to draw this line just like that. Okay. I'm going to draw a little, uh, this is um, a strap that goes over his shoulder. I'm going to draw the strap first. So here, draw a line going down like this, and this one is a smaller line like that. And then I'm going to draw a straight line like this, and this is going to be a pocket or uh, just a compartment where he can store things. Okay, and then I'm going to draw a square. Well, it's a rectangle. And I'm going to round off the corners like this. And that's about good, like this. And I'm going to draw a line that goes like this. But I'm going to stop right here. And I'm going to go up and curve and meet this little uh, corner right here. So you can see how it creates that pocket. Okay, here in the middle, I'm going to draw a little rectangle beneath it. And then I'm going to create some depth by adding thickness to this. So I'm going to draw a line that goes like this, and then it goes up like that, and it goes in like this. There you go. And then inside it, I'm going to draw this. I'm just going to follow the same, um, the same lines inside. And then the strap, I'm going to draw a line there, and also a line right there. Cool. Let's continue the collar now. And from here, we're going to go across like this. And, and I'm just going to continue it going down like that. Okay, now that we got that, now check if you have this line and if you draw an imaginary line going down and it meets this point right here, then you've got it right. If you don't, uh, go ahead and erase it and try to try to get it so that it is like that. So you draw a line going down from here and it meets this point right there. Okay, slightly to the right of this point, we're going to draw a curve. So first a small curve like this and then a bigger curve like this. And then more to the right of that, we're going to draw a line, an angled line going up. Leave it there for now. Here we're going to start off below, uh, below this mouthpiece here. On his neck, we're going to draw a line going down, a curved, curved line. And then same thing, we're going to start right here. We're going to do the same thing, curved line going out. Here, I'm going to draw a line going in and another line going in, and I'm going to draw a rectangle in between. So this is the strap for his jacket. Um, yeah. Actually, this one I'm going to angle it differently. There you go. Just like that. And I'm going to draw another line that goes like this. And from here, another line that meets down here. Okay. And from here, I'm going to draw two lines. One, two. And within that two lines, I'm going to create several rectangles. Just like that. Okay, and over here, I'm going to create that. I'm going to draw a line as well. Okay, so I started off here, do a little line like that, and I'm going out. And I'm also going to create some rectangles right here. Okay, from here, I'm going to draw a line going down and then out like this. And then inside, same thing, line going down, line going out. And right here, this is going to be the collar now. I'm going to draw a line going down right here and a line going down here as well. And then I'm going to draw this, uh, a line that follows this curve, this this line right here. And it goes down as well. 
So that is the collar, you guys. Here I'm going to just draw um, his, his neck muscles. So there's one going down like that over here. And then from here, I'm going to just draw um, an ankle line like that. Okay. All right, now here, at this point, I'm going to draw a line going out and then down, straight, up again, and then up again. Okay. And then I'm going to draw the same thing and I'm going to start right here. Draw a line going out, up, and then to the right like that. And then right here, we're going to draw a short line and then it goes down, it goes to the left. And then I'm going to create a little, well, half of a rectangle, I guess you could say right here. And then again, it goes out like this and then goes up. And there you go. So I'm just going to draw that line. And then here, you guys, I'm going to draw this a line going down. And then it follows along this line, line going out. So it seems very confusing, but uh, when you ink it, it actually makes sense, it makes a lot of sense. Okay, and the last thing we're going to do in here is we're going to draw a line going down and a line going up like this. So it sort of makes this squarish looking thing right here. And then I'm going to do the same thing inside it. Okay, we've done that. We've done this. So we'll clean it up a bit. From here, I'm going to draw a line going out like that. From here, I'm going to draw a line. Not like that, so that just, that's just padding from this jacket. Okay, from here I'm going to just draw a wrinkle in this jacket like this. Okay, right right there. <clears throat> I'm going to start right here now and I'm going to draw a line about that, that long. From here I'm going to create padding, more padding. Of course, if you want to be a soldier, you need to have some sort of armor. So that's what this is. And lots of straps for all of your weapons. Okay, here there's going to be a shoulder. Looks like a, 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 a shoulder armor right here. So draw a line like this. And then the line goes out. And then the line goes in again. Like that, and then angled like this. Of course, here I'm gonna make it three dimensional. Extend this a little bit, and then draw a line going down. And erase this guideline here. And from here, I'm going to draw a line that goes from there to about here. Okay, same thing. There you go. So all of the seams have some, like it, it doubles, doubles up. So this is a seam right here. So you double up on your lines. And then here is another seam. I'm gonna double up on these lines. Just like that. Okay. And then there's another seam here actually. And it goes up like this and then even further up like that. And I'm going to double up on that as well. Okay, here I'm just going to create a little triangle with the long side thicker than the other two. There you go. Now the last thing we're going to do is the other shoulder. And then I've got, well, I'm going to draw a line going down here first and then double it up. Okay. And then a line going this way. And this is going to be for, um, it's, it's another pocket. 
So let's draw that pocket. It is a rectangle or a rectangular prism because it's a 3D object. So if you guys can kind of see it, this is the rectangle I have right there. And then I'm going to draw a line right here and then a line going out. And actually I'm going to extend this and draw a line going out as well, like that. So here you've got a pocket. Um, right here I'm going to draw lines going down like this. And then on this side of the pocket I'm going to draw a line going out and then down and then in. Like and we're almost there. I'm just going to draw another line going out like this. And then a line going in like that. Double it up. And then a line going out like this and then in. Just like that. And I think we've got it, you guys. And that is how you draw Soldier 76 from Overwatch. And that is all the time that we have today. Thank you for watching all the way to the end of this video. I hope your drawings of Soldier 76 turned out great. And if they did, I would love to see them. Post them in Google+. There you can share your artwork with a growing community of amazing artists. So make sure that you guys post your stuff there. If you guys are ever curious about the equipment that I use to make these videos, I have a list of that in the description box below. Make sure you click on those because clicking on them does help content creators like myself so that we can sustain making videos for you guys for free. Question of the day between Reaper and Soldier 76. Six, who do you like better? Let me know in the comments below and tell me why. If this is your first time here, I would love to have you subscribe. Here in this channel, I show you guys how to draw your favorite characters and easy to follow simple step-by-step -step instructions. So if you guys like what you see, come on over and hit that subscribe button just below me here. And if you did enjoy this tutorial, it would do me a huge favor if you guys liked this video, commented in the comment section below and shared this video with your friends and social media. Don't forget, you guys can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Google+. In Instagram, I show you guys a lot of behind the scenes. And if you guys want to see the behind the scenes of my current office setup and me making changes to it, go ahead and follow me on Instagram and watch my Instagram stories. Again, links to all of those are in the description below. Having said all of that, you guys, I'm glad to be back. Thank you for sticking around and stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw too. We'll see you next time. That's all the time that we have today. Thank you for watching all the way to the end of this video. I hope your drawings of Soldier 76 turned out... <clears throat>